Hey everyone, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes from the World Creator team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the last um, shape uh, layer type, which is the um, map title layer. Well, actually, it's not the last because we're pushing the path layers. You know, those are the path filters from World Creator 2 over to World Creator 2023. So um, there will be another shape layer called the path layer, but this is just before the release. So we will do a separate video on this afterwards. Okay, also please be aware, it's still early access, fully under development, this version. You can, however, access it if you purchase World Creator. And um, yeah, the um, planned release is mid-August 2023. Okay, let's get started. So we're heading over to the shape layers again. Hit the plus button here and add the map title layer. Now, um, to get map title working, you first need to go to their website, which is, um, let me quickly do that for you. So going over to map title, get title, map title website. You have to check their pricing, what fits best to you. As far as we know, there is also a world creator specific license model, especially for games and all these ones. Um, have a look out for these and you need to register on the website. And once you register and you set up an account, you have uh, the ability to do a demo account, which would be like you're having uh, those, uh, those uh, watermarks in their maps. Or if you have a paid account, then the watermarks are removed. And um, then once you have set up the account, there will be a token required by World Creator, which you need to set under Options Map Tiler. And if you click on this, there will be a there will be a, a text field opening here where you have to enter that Map Tiler token and apply it. And once you have applied, you will see the map as I do here inside World Creator. Now what we see here is actually before I continue to explain everything, we need to. Uh, understand how this how the navigation of this works so it's pretty easy if you want to zoom in inside map tiler then you just head with the mouse over to this and you just use the scroll wheel to zoom into the location into the preferred location where you want to go in okay and so you've done this you can use the left uh, right mouse button to just press it hold it and drag the map and it will automatically update everything in here too. So it just gets exactly to what you see here. Uh, another option is like if you know exact longitude or latitude values, you can enter them here. It will jump directly to that location. You can also use that zoom slider here to zoom, uh, to zoom in and zoom out. The next really important thing is like which is the most important is the height resolution and the color resolution. As you can see here, the resolution is pretty low at this moment because we set it just to a 128 by 128. However, you can increase this up to 1K. You get a much higher detail and up to with the, with the color values up to 1K too, which leads to much higher color detail values as well. Of course, streaming time will be affected by this. So it means that streaming takes a little bit longer, the higher the resolution is, because of course, lots of more data has to be collected to get things running. Okay, now let's see if we can find a nice spot here. We're using this one here for an example. And just as any other layer that you apply here in Work Creator, for of the shape layers, you can apply a sculpt layer, you can apply a stamp layer and mix all these layers together to get that to get that uh, to 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 be applied on the underlying terrain and of course you also can just drop in the filters and it will adapt itself as you can see here will adapt so actually you can use map title for getting the base data the base colors and use world creator filters to make it a little bit more crisp and a little more detailed for everything else Let's see if we can just do a little bit more here. It's really nice from what I can see. The next thing is, which might be interesting, is like do you using the height scale. If 
Elektrone increasing the scale of the underlying terrain. And now the really nice thing about this map tiler thing is also that if you increase again your terrain size here, you have that map tiler one here. And of course you can move it, place it wherever you want. You can rotate it, you can scale it. And what else you can do is like adding just another map tiler layer and finding another uh, interesting spot. Let's choose the Alps. And of course, apply that as well. Mix them in together using a higher resolution for these values too. So we get a better color maps. And you can combine these, of course, and blend them together just as you want to get things running the way you want. Here we go. Now this is really cool. It offers many new possibilities. You can, for example, use these ones as a base map of your underlying terrain for creating games. Of course, you also can have the option not to use the color maps in total. So what you could do is like um, heading over to the materials here, so selecting the material and disable that use shape color. And then you only stream in the height values and you only can use the height values to manipulate the terrain on your end. Okay, that's pretty much about it. Um, hope you enjoyed, hope you like it. And um, yeah, look out for the next videos coming in this week. Um, yeah, have a great day, stay safe and bye bye.